Humanity, I love you all. Love you with all my heart, with all my might, with all my mind. We all one. We're infinite energy. We're infinite love. We're infinite creation. We're the pulse of creation. We're the pulse of life. This is who we are. The human heartbeat. Earth heartbeat. The citizenry, the republic. Earth constitution. This is all who we are. Earth, heartbeat, infinity, creation, love. I love you all forever, infinitely, eternally. I want to talk about a concept that I describe as the climb. You can refer to it on the website and any of the channels, YouTube and Substack. Y.how slash the hyphen climb y dot how slash the hyphen climb so this is a beautiful concept and it has to do with who we are we have gotten to this point we have climbed humanity we have climbed and we have arrived to our destination we have founded the Republic on the 26th of May, 2023. We have metamorphosized into light beings, spherical light beings. This is who we are, electromagnetic beings, infinite energy, infinite love. This is who we are and who we always be because we are the human race. We're a benevolent species. We're a heartful species. We love. This is our instinct. Our heartbeat is our creator. The heart created us. So we're conscious. We're aware. We're self-aware. We can feel. We can have our senses. So we can love. Because we love with our hearts. Thus, we're a heartful species. We're a benevolent race. This is who we are. It's our instinct to love. It's in our DNA. This is who we are. The citizenry of the Republic. The eternal family. This is who we are forever. Here on Earth. I love you all. We have transformed ourselves. An inside out transformation. From an unaware state to a self-aware state. Where we understand who we are. Infinite energy. We are spherical light beings. This is who we are. We are compass. We shatter illusions and render fantasies obsolete. This is who we are and what we do because we're infinite energy. We're infinite light. We're infinite love. We're infinite creation. And we do that through our free will. Here and now we take daily action. And I would like to talk about the climb. What it has taken us. All of us. As a collective, to understand who we are when we're unaware of our origin, our source, infinite creators, infinite light, infinite love, infinite energy, to this state of self awareness where we know who we are, infinite light beings. This is who we are spherical light beings. We're compass, we shatter illusions, we render. Fantasies obsolete. This is what we do. We're electrical, we're energy. We love. We love. So let's start at the very beginning of the climb. So, because we're physical beings, we have bodies, the human body. We're physical. This is who we are. We're physical beings. We're physical beings. We're alive. Biology makes it that way. This is who we are. We love ourselves because we can love. And the reason why we can love is because we have a body. We're alive. Human body, human condition, human nature, the human experience. 
because of biology. This is the way it is. Genetic code, makeup, the structure, the gene, the genetic code, the genome, human DNA, this is who we are. We're infinite light, we're infinite beings, we're infinite energy, we're spherical light beings, this is who we are. So because of that, because of the electrical nature of who we are through the heartbeat, this resonance that generates the electric field, the electromagnetic field around us, giving us the pulse of life, the pulse of creation, who we are, so we can love and exist and be energy and be infinite and create as our creator, the heart, we can also create in his image, in its image, the heart's image. As a creator of energy, of life, in the biological sense, we also can create with our hands. As our creator, the heart, showed us the way. And the way is love. We love with our hearts. Our heartbeat is electrical, making our love energy. The energy of love is infinite. So this is a very basic notion of understanding of who we are as living beings, as a sentient race, sentient beings, benevolent race, a good species, a heartful species, to understand our nature, our instinct to love, because this is who we are. This is what we do. This is how we create with our love. Just to honor our creator, the heart, we also love. To honor it, we love and we create. This is what we do. So if you think about it fundamentally, we start at a physical level, right? The body is alive physically, the human body, us in the flesh, incarnated here as humans. So those are our needs, physical needs. This is the very basic needs that we all need to survive at a physiological point of view at a physiological level so the body keeps going so we can actually live the biological lives here on earth our planet our republic mother earth earth republic our republic everyone's republic the citizen re republic this is who we are so the physical needs are very basic we all know them things like food water sleep these are the things that we need hey you can fill in the blanks. You understand these things. The basic. We all know them. We've been educated to understand through our instincts what are those things that we need. Food, water, sleep, etc. and so on. Fill in the gaps. Fill in the blanks. This is a very basic, basic level of existence that we have transcended. We are way more aware now than just that level. In the past, when we weren't as aware of who we are as we are now, light beings, infinite awareness, infinite energy of creation, infinite love, that was the main level of existence. This is where our consciousness was, trying to survive, to exist at that level, the physical level, physical needs. But as time passes and we have evolved and evolved and developed our society technologically and with all these advances that we have, been able to come up with throughout history we've been able to move up scales you see it's always scales with creation with awareness with self-awareness with consciousness self-consciousness is always about scales we move into scales of existence of understanding collectively so we went from physical needs to essential needs things that were essential outside the physical needs things like shelter security health resources so we organized in primitive societies around these notions because those were the level at which our consciousness our awareness was at the time the essential needs we were just doing the essentials we were surviving we weren't living we were just surviving getting along as much as we could because things were just the way they were and as we started to understand these ideas, these notions, we started to develop other levels of thinking, other levels of self-awareness and consciousness. And that took us to the third level, a third scale of organized society. And this level of organized society was an emotional needs level, 
of organization. Things like family and the value of family and what it meant in society, all these different things. Uh, friendships, we started to value friendships and started to form networks around us of all sorts. And society started to flourish and develop in that way. Then social relationships beyond friends and family, social circles and all the different things that made up society the way they are throughout history. This is our story, guys. This is our history, humanity's history we're talking about here. This was where our zeitgeist was at the time. Our minds, collectively, our self-awareness, collectively, our collective self-awareness, our collective consciousness was at that level of existence. Things such as intimacy, and we started to relate on those levels of needs collectively as a planet. So as you can see, in terms of awareness and creation, we are moving up in terms of understanding as a planet, as a republic. We were moving as a society, as a species, with that instinct, because we always intrinsically, instinctively knew who we were, this heartbeat, this infinite light being. We always knew, we always knew who we were, light beings, infinite energy, infinite love, infinite creation. But at the time, we were very unaware because of the context in which we found ourselves for any reason. So because of that, we were moving up the scales of consciousness and self-awareness collectively as a society, as a species. So then we moved away from these emotional needs. And if you think about it, it was a crucial transformation because when we started to engage with our emotions at a collective level, through family, friends, and social relationships, and intimacy, love, and lovemaking, and things of that nature, Remember, we create through that. The family is the union, right? Where the kids and the children and they develop. And this is this notion, this idea. And then friends are the other families around you. And then you collectivize and then socialize and all these different things. And then social relationships emerge as a result of all these different groups interacting in societies through love, lovemaking. And remember, lovemaking love making creation love raise your kids you rear them the way you think is best upbringing and all that so you raise them according to your belief systems and what your family taught us and all these different needs that you have these emotional needs and then society is formed around this basic notion but the love seed was always there as you can see it's instinctual it was always there intimacy making creating you know, family, all these bonds were there socially, we're social beings, we, it's our instinct to love. So obviously we're a species, so we love collectively. So we were unaware of it fully, but we were moving towards the right direction, as you can see. Then obviously because of all this love making and all these families and all these, you know, development of the society at the level it was developed, then we were able to start evolving our thinking and our mindset and our self-awareness and our self-consciousness and our consciousness and our level of thinking in society as such. And obviously that's not a coincidence. That just happens naturally. It's part of the evolutionary step in evolution. It's part of the infinite biological evolution of the race, of the species. We were moving towards light. We were moving towards this notion of lovemaking and creation and family and what it means to raise kids and love them and have friends and social relationships and value society. You see, these bonds were already built, but we didn't know because we were unaware of what we were doing collectively. But that's okay because obviously as everything with existence, we move up. And then, of course, as you can see in society, historically speaking, uh, in terms of timelines, we started to develop identity needs. Things, of course, like self-love and self-esteem, self-discovery, accomplishments and social status. As society starts to organize and move away from agrarian societies into industrial societies and all these different type of things that we did, city-states and all the different uh, things that we started to develop, democracy and all these different uh, concepts, came from this idea, this root concept of the value, the self-worth of the human life, who we are and what we represent 
for ourselves and existence because it's an instinct you see it's there it's latent it never dies because we are alive it's who we are it's our heartbeat so obviously when these ideas identity who we are what it means to be a human then we started to form all these concepts as we moved along rights and notions of nation and nation states and organized structures around belief systems so if you think about it then that's the origin is this instinct to understand that we all want we all love this necessity this need identity our true self self-love see we started to do it but at that level of scale limited because of our unawareness a lack of true self-awareness because we were learning learning what it was required for us to get to today to the republic that we have founded on the 26th of may 2023 as a citizenry humanity human liberation i repeat that again human liberation so as we we started to develop and become more sophisticated as a society and as a species collectively here on earth our mother earth our republic earth republic we started to develop this notion of true self true self needs a and that came as a result of obviously self-love and all these different concepts that we started to form as we became more sophisticated and more developed because of our uh, quality of life and all the different things that we were able to do as we came together as a species and share the love remember 10x love and all the things the human scales of love and how it does and the impact that we all have and collectively we were all building this society this great society this planet that is all interconnected now and we all one we all part of it so obviously you know this is not a coincidence this is all us moving the totem moving the ball forward the climb to self-awareness at the highest level of existence which is creation itself which is light understanding who we are we are love we are eternal we are infinite we are creation we are light beings this is who we are we spiritual light beings we are compass we shatter illusions rendering fantasies thus we render fantasies obsolete as a result of our energy field because we shatter illusions and fantasies that's what we do this is who we are this is a human race so obviously as we started to develop we created notions that were quite artistic and beautiful and we started to create constitutions that were modern and we started to enter the modern era this modern world where nations really started to understand what we were all about and the value of the human life and human rights and what it means to understand humanity and who we are our sanctity and our integrity in the flesh our value collectively and these things started to form as a natural step evolutionary step in the infinite biology of creation which is obviously union coming together as one big family the eternal family who we are here on earth as a citizenry of the republic so obviously true self is this powerful notion of self-love as we all know that leads to self-transcendence and when we start to vibrate at that frequency of existence then obviously things start to speed up and this is why we have seen incredible change in the last century because of all this collective creation innovation technology all these things are just happening as a result of us creating love infinity our heartbeat being guided by our passions because we have the conditions to be passionate and create have the comforts the needs covered so we can actually focus on what matters our passions our love our purpose and these ideas started to truly take form and shape and we ex have experienced an incredible development across existence for the first time in human history as we know it so all these happened as a result of love self-love true self needs and this is the way it works and it's always worked like that across existence all species and all different races that have also graduated and metamorphosized and transformed into what they are which we all are infinite energy and light energy beings spherical energy this is who we are the heartbeat we are electrical we are electromagnetism we're love 
So this notion has actually taken hold now on Earth, and this is why we've been able to found the Republic. But as you can see, it's a natural evolutionary process. It's a scale. So we are at the scale of true self needs. And that essentially led us to self-transcendent needs, which is where we are at now. This is the peak of the climb. This is where we got, so where we could actually found the Republic and liberate the human race. And human liberation is forever eternal and infinite as a result of our eternal love, our eternal energy, our infinite energy, our capacity to create because we are eternal creation. This is what we are through our heartbeat, our creator, the heart taught us the lesson fundamental for us, which is love to love. Because when we love ourselves and we love one another through self-transcendence, then we can create because we're energy and we're infinite. And this is what we are. And this is who we are. And it's always been like this because we are spherical light beings. We're energy. We're electromagnetic fields. Thanks to our heartbeat, our creator, the heart. So this is the way it works. And it will always been like this. This is biology. This is a DNA. This is our history. This is the human history. This is our story. And we all here as a race, a benevolent species that understands that love is the path because we are light and creation is who we are. Infinite creation, infinite love. This is who we are. So the heart is our creator, but it is infinite love for us, gave us the gift of creation. So we can also create and the way we create is through love. This self love mechanism, as we all are very aware of, is an instinct of the human race that has been given to us through our DNA instinctual nature. And this is just the way it is. And then that obviously self true self leads to self love and self love leads to self transcendence. And when you self transcend, obviously this is the level in which we find ourselves right now, this level where we are actually capable of metamorphosizing into light beings, transforming into light beings because of this inside out transformation from true self, self love, identity and self transcendence. And then it leads to this point where we are today, here, right now, Earth, the Republic. And obviously, if you think about it fundamentally, what are these? Are emotions? Because emotions come from the heart. So we are infinite energy because the heart created us. And the heart was created by the DNA, which was created by Earth and biology. And who created Earth? The sun. And sun is infinite energy. Who created the sun? Well, infinity. And it goes on and on and on because infinity is eternal, is forever. This is just the way it is. It's a different scales of creation. So obviously, what are these emotions that we feel with our hearts? Love. We create with a love, which is the truth. And when we know the truth, objective reality for what it is, then we're able to understand who we are as a human race. Humility. We know who we are. We're humble. We're humane. We understand that we are infinite energy, infinite love. We are creators. And by being that, then, of course, we understand that we are obviously an integral race, meaning integrity. We understand who we are, where we come from, our integrity, our source, who we are, what makes us, which is love. This is the truth of humanity, integrity, the integrity of existence, the integrity of love, of infinite energy, of infinite creation. This is our gift as creators to love because this is our truth, objective truth based on biology and physics and all these different things, mathematics. Then we understand this basic notion of humility, which is who we are, is in the name of a race, human humility, we understand who we are, infinite energy, infinite love, infinite creation. And then that would, of course, give us the grounding mechanism to understand integrity and what it means to be human and the value that it is to be human and why we are compasses and why we are capable of manifesting free will and why we are infinite and we're pure and we're energy at all scales of creation, biologically speaking. And then, of course, that is purpose. Purpose gives us that because with purpose we create purposeful daily action, align with our true self, align with our identity, 
we manage our time and energy because that's what we are. We experience time relatively because we're energy and we move across time through energy because it's relative. So because of that, then we're purposeful and we take daily action and then we manifest through our actions. What? Creation. We create. We advance. And this is why we are, we live in integrity and we're humble and humility because we know the truth which is infinite love and this all comes together you see we all have the ability to have not only a purpose which is fueled by love but we also have a shared purpose as a society which is united by love and then we have a common purpose for all of us together collectively as a species which is guided by love and it all originated from the source which is the human heart true self self-love the heartbeat spherical light energy spherical beings this is who we are infinite energy of creation so love truth humility integrity and purpose have given us the tools through daily action purposeful daily action and free will to what to liberate ourselves to liberate the human race to liberate humanity Human liberation has taken hold in planet Earth forever. We are free forever. We're alive. We're free, independent and sovereign because of our free will, because of our love, because of our ability to come together and be self-sovereign. And because of our free will, we founded the Republic collectively as a species. This is what we do. On the 26th of May, 2023, humanity founded the Republic here on Earth for everyone to enjoy forever because this is our right, this is our freedom. We're infinite, we're infinite freedoms. And this is the way it is and it would always be because Earth is our mother and our mother is our Republic, our motherland. Earth, Republic, our Republic. We are the citizenry, the children of Earth. Our source of origin the heartbeat, our creator, the heart, gave us love as a mechanism to communicate and create at the scale of biology so we can found a republic collectively because this is who we are, our common purpose, united by love, guided by love, so we could just have eternal lives because we are the eternal family and we live forever. And obviously freedom, this notion that got us to this level of self-awareness and consciousness as it is who we are, infinite awareness, infinite energy, infinite love, infinite consciousness, infinite creation, defines our destination. The purpose of our existence is infinite potential because we are infinite creators, you see? There's not such a thing as anything else but infinite potential. As you can see, the climb is very clear. We moved from physical needs all the way through essential needs, emotional needs, identity needs, true self needs, self transcendence needs to infinite potential because this is who we are. And this is just the beginning humans, us, humanity. I love you all, the collective, us. This is just the very beginning of our story here on earth. This is just when we graduated when we transformed, we metamorphosized into light beings who we always have been, but we weren't aware of because of obvious reasons. But now we are aware of who we are and our nature. So clearly this is the very beginning of our journey into existence, into infinity. Our full potential, our infinite potential is just that infinite meaning forever, meaning endless, meaning eternal. And this is who we are existence itself with the eternal family the citizenry of earth the founders of the republic i love you all with all my heart remember who you are infinite energy infinite love infinite creation this is who we are and who we always be because we are light beings we are spherical light beings we are spherical light energy this is who we are Thanks to our creator, the heart, this is who we are. Infinite creators through love, through free will, through consciousness, through self-awareness. 
I love you all. Have a wonderful day, citizen Re. Enjoy life because life is beautiful. Infinite potential awaits us because we are infinity and this is our destiny. Infinity for all, forever, infinitely, eternally. Love you all, humanity. Love you all. Long live the Republic. Long live humanity. Long live human liberation. Forever.